Okay. Oh, really? It's gonna throw me off the edge, isn't it? No? That is my least favourite enemy in this game, the worm thing. It's such a bullshit enemy. It's so bullshitty. Oh, I hate it. And I just... What goes through the mind of the dev when they're making something like that? It's going to grab the player's character. They can't get out of it. It's going to grab you so fast it's almost impossible to dodge unless you preemptively ju jump. Like, look at that motherfucker! That perfect AI bullshit. Make love to the pavement with my fur cock. Right. Get out of my face! Where is your fucking head, friend? Please don't be any more. No more. Elite strats right here. No damage run. It's just it's so dull, isn't it? Like who the fuck wants to do this? But you're forced to. Because of just how perfect that grab is. Motherfucker's got a two frame SPD. Get out of my face. None of that weak sauce three framer that Seth's got. This is straight up. Big leagues. The gameplay right now. The gameplay. How can you not be entertained? Russell Crowe would be proud. There's got to be one more, surely. There it was. Oh my god. Watch me get killed so we get to the top. Fuck this place! Horrible, horrible place. I'm gonna probably prick herself on something and die of tinnitus. It's not even what, how that works. It would be tetanus, wouldn't it? Tinnitus is your ears ringing. You see what I mean? It's getting to me, man. It's getting to me. So, if anybody's seen Bram Stoker's Dracula, probably so uh, understand this reference. Welcome to my house. Please. And of your own free will, and bring with you some of the happiness that is so evident in your face, <laughs> and so lacking in my own. It's probably my favourite part of that film, because I'm not a big fan of that Dracula. Threshold here. But when he's in the the castle with the Keanu Reeves trying to act, I fair do. What? Nothing. So, uh, seldom have visitors in these parts. Uh, what, being out here in the middle of nowhere? On such a cold and gloomy night? Pray, follow me. You look as if you're in need of sustenance. And I have many things to eat and drink. Pray, follow me. Oh, okay. Food, yeah. Hey, gonna be sick of chocolate anyway. This way. As you can see, the house is in some sort of state of repair. We're having a few refurbishments doing at the moment. And Every time somebody talks in this game, it sounds like somebody's running a small hoover. It's really annoying. You probably can't hear it unless you're wearing a headset. Well, it's not good. For the present. Ah. From my dining room. <laughs> More vine. I have to mind if I do, thank you. Oh. 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 I, I, you're not drinking then? No. <laughs> I never drink vine. 
<laughs> so, um, um, who's this guy here? He looks, uh, he looks like you. Mm. My, uh, forefather. He was a crusader in a war of long ago. Went with the allies, with the squirrels and the panthers. <laughs> that union, alas, was not successful. Yeah, and he had really stupid teeth as well. Didn't they have any dentists back then? Yeah. Who are you to criticize me or my ancestors, whose blood runs into these veins? You are not of noble birth, and never will be. <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Pray accept my apologies. Got a temper. Whenever you talk about my ancestors, I get uh, somewhat touchy. Oh, that's all right. I know how it is. Family. <laughs> yeah. That's his family. So, um, you been here long? Mm. About 300 years. Really? It's quite a big family then. No, it's just me. Oh. What's that noise? Ah, as the children of the night. What sweet music they make. Music? The howling. <sighs> What is that noise? What was that noise? Huh? Whose footprints are these? It sounds like somebody's braying on the door. <laughs> they don't like you either, I take it. Oh, shit. It's the villagers again. Sounds like there is more of them this time. This could be your lucky night, Conker. I was going to kill you and drink your blood. <laughs> no, I think I'm needing your help. Blink. Trey, come here. Um, can we just go back a bit there? That drinking my blood bit? What's all that about? I said, come here. Oh, the French. Well, technically, should they be like Romanian peasants? <sighs> Delicious and familiar. Yes, I think you are my great, 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 great grandson, Congo. Welcome Isn't that to the like family. Blood incest. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty bastard! You're gonna get Kuru. I have a little task for you. These little. Uh, Villages. This is hard, this. Occasionally pop up to my establishment for have a little fun and see if they can't kill me. It's never worked yet. As you can see, I've had a few minor alterations to the house. They have the grinder. <laughs> and they have the pumps. And they have some other bits and pieces. It is your duty, your and indeed, the whole point of your existence as of this day is to fetch me the villagers, put them in the grinder, and let me feed them. I remember this being really you hard. Too, if you wish, but only later. Well? Because you've got a crap on it, and oh, then yes, you've got to pick them up, <laughs> and the camera's not good. Like what you are. Is that he does cat? look cute though, doesn't he? Back conquer. He's pretty damn cute. Jump, jump. Fetch me the villagers. I am hungry. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. How do we do this? Oh god. B. Okay. It's like swimming. Right. How do we turn on people? Left trigger turds. We got this. Okay. Right. Where are you, little Frenchies? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Man, Frenchie. Oh, I didn't get him! No! No, Conquer! We must turd! I'm limited to uh, so many turds. Oh, they're everywhere! I 
are you meant to know that you've hit them? Is that it? Oh, that was it! You're mine! Ah! I must break you! So, we fly them back to the grinder, and you do it a few times. And... That's the end of the mission, I think. She's fighting me. In a green plaid skirt, God damn it! You're going in! Mine's bigger than yours! That wasn't even the dude I was carrying! That fella had a hat on. Right. Well, if we can go back the way we came, there was a shit ton of them. It's got like a weird autocorrect when you go up. Watch, I'm gonna let go of my analog now. You see how it went down? It like bobbed. I think we got him. I think we got his ass. We did! You murdered! I want you, Marsh! I want you! I don't know how many this will take. You should take three. If he takes any more than three, then this is not not well done. Too long. The key to a section like this in game design is brevity. When it outstays its welcome, no bugger wants to do it. There's a very fine and articulate balance of things. You want the player to want to do it again, not have to and feel obligated. Right. Where are you, little shit? I've seen you. Oh, we got it! Right. It seems when they glow red, if you turd, uh, it's almost a guaranteed hit. Or it seems that way. Seems that way. What if he's going to cut to another fella being dropped in when we bring this lady over? He's looking a bit fatter. Doesn't the music sound like something out of Danny Elfman? Like a Batman, a Tim Burton Batman. No. Oh, there's going to be two more. It's five. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I suppose somebody will let me know in the comments if they think that 5 is a better number. I don't. I don't. I'd like to think I'd make more noise if somebody turded on me. These don't make any noise to tell you that they've been turded on. You've been turded on! Well considered though, I, this, this section does not control too bad at all, but I remember it being really fiddly. Which is kind of ironic considering that like the swimming and the piss mechanic was much worse than this. That's that barrel guy. Have we got everybody here? This is quite a run back. Nice two dimensional textures there, love it. Aha! Is that it? <laughs> Music's great. I do hope DSP plays this game. Because it's not only is it a game he should play because it's great, but it's also a game that's going to be wonderful for his particular type of, shall we say, appeal. Because Phil's pretty quick to rage, he's pretty quick to blame the game. And he doesn't like it when a game doesn't tell him what to do. <laughs> this game is is real good at that. I think it could be comedy gold. Oh, I might have been able to come through here and do it a bit quicker. Yeah, we could have. That would have been faster. Right, where did that one go? Did we get him? No, we didn't. Where is it? Where did you go? Aha! Whoa! He just... Zonked me! Whoa, stun lock! Stop it! Oh, they're making that French noise. Stereotypical French noise. I need to get out of here before we get staked. Don't do it, dude. Don't do it! You wanna hit him out with glasses? Dun, 
There we go. Did that not count? What? Ugh. This is outstaying its welcome. Maybe the squeak just then tells you that you hit something. Oh, now you get life back as the bat. Please be it. Come on. It was funny. We've, we've had our fill. It's not the smartest positioning, is it, that one? Numbers. Ah, more zombies. Time for the double barrel boy. Hopefully for the last time. Technically, I don't think this is... I suppose it is double barreled. It's not double barreled in the way you would like it to be. Texture dancing. It's creepy music. Appropriately creepy music. What's that doing? You good or bad? You're invincible. Seems legit. Hey, did you see Conker look at it? That was cool. So what does this do? B. Context sensitive. Ah, this is how we kill the bat. Two bats. Whoa! Laser! Sweep shots like a beast. What is this doing though? I don't know. I'm not sure. Can you hear the zombie? Oh. Definitely hear the zombie. But zombies can't jump, you see. I can. This innate advantage, which I have to get real close to the edge to exploit. It sounds so loud. Yeah, I can't hear. Them. I think I'm going to skip them. Not the biggest fan of the the shooting. Surprise! Death pit. That is also a death pit. Could you politely, politely, not a word, politely eat my ass? Yes. Get all up in there. Talk to you. No. Can I stand on you, maybe? How many times have you tried to stand on characters on games and it's just not like you for certain ones? Too many times is the answer to that. Anything down here? There's a door, but I don't think I can hit it yet. No. Okay. Where does this go? This could be where it wants us to go. 
to the dining room table. Laughing children, always unnerving. <gasps> God, I don't like that. Stupid pitfalls like that. It's it dates your game. So to a generation where it was like, we want the player to die because then he'll spend more time playing our game. Always go left, rule of thumb. That's where we came from, isn't it? You know what? It's just dawned on me, I have no idea what I'm doing. We killed Dracula and now what? I think we have to get up there somehow. But I couldn't tell you how. That was the library, we've already been in there. Another dancing texture, is it clips? That collision detection? I don't have to kill the zombies to trigger something, that would be dumb. This looks promising. What does that do? Is that just a crossbow moment? Maybe I've got to kill all the crossbows. Oh, whoa! He put a hole in his torso! I'm about to get munched when I get up. Did he despawn? What the fuck is that? I suppose maybe that's the only... Your control's like so shit. Ugh. But it's okay, because we're going to patch it. It's going to control really well. No. No, it's not. It's going to control just as fucking bad. Whoa. Hit detection actually helped for change. You should, you should try running in a straight line on Jet Force Gemini. It almost cannot be done. Aha, key. You know, it would have been nice if the draw distance was good enough to show us the key on the other side of the room. Wow. So spoilt, folks. Drink on every occasion where we're spoilt in game design because it's staggering how easy it is to forget and take things for granted. The one good thing about Banjo Kazooie is because it focuses on being a platformer, I haven't come across anything yet where I've been like, yeah, that feels like shit, or that's awkward. All of it just seems to flow really well. I think Banjo is a really well put together game. I think Banjo Tui has more areas where it's going to be awkward because it was way more ambitious. Way more ambitious. Like, I can't remember much of Banjo to it, but what I do remember is Gruntilda's Industries. Industries, I think it was called. Because I just remember it being way too much for my brain at the time to just fathom collecting everything on it. In fact, I have an imperfect save file on Banjo to it. I'm missing one jiggy. And I couldn't for the life of me tell you where it was. I know what level it's on. I've tried to get it on that level dozens of times, but for some reason, it just doesn't exist. And I never went back. But I collected everything else, the Jinjos, the, the notes, whatever else you collect on that one, because there's a lot more to collect, I remember. Oh, fellas. Look at this! This is going to be death! Because it's so constant. Fuck you. Goodness. I killed those bats. Why are they back? That's horrible. I guess you meant to put the key down and then. What a bad checkpoint. But I think that's going to be the slogan for this playthrough. Games have changed for the better. Because they really have. Hang on, this is not right. 
And it's funny I say that because in some ways they haven't. Whew. I'll try that at home, folks. Like, in some ways, they've changed it for the worst. But functionality wise, I think it's so much better. Everything about this crossbow. There we go. Fuck you. Sounds really good, looks really nice. It's a, a well designed piece of kit. What if I can just drop off with this key? Like skip all the bullshit. Can I just do that? Where did the key go? No. 10 to 1 that key is back where it was. Like, I probably can't look high enough. But I bet you out it's back up there. Because it wants you to run the gauntlet of bats and bullshit to get back to the, the main room. It wants you to do that. Pedantry is the word. And I'm really looking forward to winter because these playthroughs in this room are so sweltering and hot and sweaty. It makes something that shouldn't be frustrating more frustrating. Okay. Where the fuck are we? Am I meant to even survive that fall? Those zombies are really fast too. I'm, I'm wondering if I'm even going to be able to run the gauntlet with this key. But the enemies respawn, and I don't, don't know why. Oh, there's a convenient hole just there. That camera is really good. More of that, please. I mean, where were we before? Before cameras were that good, like, what did we do? Fucking 